what's going on guys back again with another video um i've been holding this video off for quite some time i said i was gonna do my second video but i ended up doing a daily vlog but i'm gonna show you what kind of car i drive so uh here it is yes i do have a mustang i might have some hate comments but i don't care i love this car uh it is a v6 it is not the gte the v8 um i mean i say it it goes it goes it's, it's a i mean it's a quick v6 it's not the older V6, it's the newer, it's a 4 liter V6. Um, things I've done to it, I put Toyo tires on 17 inch Cobra rims. They're seven or they're uh, 245s uh, all around, they're a square setup. Um, I did tint the tail lights and the third brake light and I did a plastic dip the back. Uh, I have an aftermarket uh, Flowmaster on it, uh, which is really loud. I'll show you on a bit what it sounds like. Um, but first I'm gonna go around and just show y'all uh, around the Mustang. Uh, it does have a little dent right there. Uh, it had that when I bought it. I mean, I love this car. It is an automatic, it's not a five-speed manual for people who want to know that. Um, I wanted a five-speed manual GT, but the V6 automatic was just better on insurance. Um, I wasn't gonna be spending a lot of money. But I'll show y'all the inside and I'll pop the hood. This is the 4 liter engine. It's a pretty clean engine. It's fast. It sounds good. Uh, I do have a Canon air intake with a tune on it. So, I mean, it gives it, I'm, I'm not saying it gives it a lot of horsepower, but I, I'm probably say 10 or 15 horsepower with the tune. This is my first car. I had a Jeep and I had a truck. Let me show you the inside. It, I mean, it's nothing special. It's all the, uh, it's basic interior, it's no leather. Uh, I do, uh, people do make fun of me for this steering wheel cover. I don't know why I like it, but it keeps the heat off that because uh, it is a leather steering wheel. Um, the interior is great. The only thing that I don't like about this car is these things on the door. They're falling off and I, I've, I've glued the back on maybe 10 times and there, it's just the heat and the glue comes off and it falls down again. That side's doing right now good, but it's starting to fall off. I've been looking at it. Um, I do have a system in it. I paid $600 for this system. This is my system right here. Uh, it's digital designs. I mean, it sounds pretty good. It's a 10 inch subwoofer, um, which, I mean, it doesn't take up much trunk space, which I All like. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you all the exhaust. Uh, it's pretty loud. Uh, the Flowmaster's pretty loud. I wanna get dual soon. But right now, I just have the single exhaust, which is fine with me. I mean, people say it's ricey, but uh, I mean, it's it's a V6, I think. I mean, it sounds pretty good for a V6. So here you go. y'all for a spin in the car uh things that i love about this car uh i mean i've never had a car before that's fast i had an old truck and a jeep that was lifted um the thing i love about this car is it takes off um ever since i put lowering springs on it and uh did change the tires the bigger bigger tires all around i used to have 215s on it now i have 245s uh it performs better and it sounds it sounds pretty good for a V6. I'm I'm not trying to sugarcoat it or nothing, but you know it's a V it's not a V8. I mean it's a V6. It's gonna sound not the greatest car in the world, but it's gonna sound pretty good with the if you put an exhaust system on it. But um, yeah, guys, uh, things that I pretty I pretty much hate about it. Uh, people hate on you about having a Mustang, especially a V6 one. Um, it's not a GT, which I wanted in the first place. I wanted a GT, a five-speed manual. Um, and just the Mustang community, if you have a V6 Mustang, basically people just make fun of you. They ask, why'd you buy the V6? Why didn't you get a GT? The reason I got the V6 is because, I mean, it was better, like I said, it was better on insurance. Um, 
Uh, it gets really good gas mileage. Not as good as the new V8s, obviously. It's a 2006 model. Um, I mean, it still picks up and goes, but the thing I love most about it is the sound. I don't know, the sound, people say it sounds ricey, but with this one, this one, like this exhaust system, I have a, I think it's a Flowmaster Thunder series, but it sounds so great. Like on this V6 Mustang, it sounds so good. Um, I don't really hate much things about th this car, other than the bolstering on the seats ripping, which I mean, it's an older car. Um, some of the air bezels, they close when you turn the air up really high. The air doesn't, the air is, I mean, I need to, I might need to recharge it, but it's starting to get less colder. I mean, it might be from the heat. Um, there's a lot of rattles in the dash, which is, it's a plastic dash. It's not the leather dash like the new Mustangs. Um, these pelted things right here, they're coming off just from the heat and just, it's sitting in the sun. I mean, all, all the 2005, 2000 Mustangs owners know that these fall off easily. You have to glue them and then they, you have to keep on gluing them, gluing them, which is annoying. And it gets to the point where I don't even care anymore when it falls off, I just tape it up or just put a little bit of glue just to hold it up. Um, and uh, the one that's holding up very good is the passenger side, which I mean, nobody gets in my passenger seat other than my girlfriend. So, I mean, it's never used on that side. Um, then uh, it had, this car had racing stripes on it this vinyl I had I spent a week peeling it off it was all cracked from the Sun which was a, I mean it was pretty cheap vinyl because I had I took it off during the winter which was a dumb idea because it was not hot outside and it wasn't coming off I had to use a hair dryer then I bought a heat gun and I ended up the there's a uh, there's lines on my paint from it just this uh, someone not the person before me had it they didn't wax it or buff it and uh, there's just lines from where the just the sun is hitting it and the uh, there's lines from where the racing stripes used to be which I mean I'm gonna I, I might get the car detailed and buffed um, or wax and then get it waxed but uh, I'm not too worried about it right now it's just it's on the hood that I think that's where most of the heat was that's where it was most hard to get the stripes off it took me I think three days to get one stripe off and then um, I think two or three two or three more days to get another stripe off which was horrible um, Taking the stripes off was the worst thing ever I've done to this car. I mean, I've blew up the thermostat housing in the engine and that was better than taking the stripes off the car. It was the worst thing ever. And then, things that I don't really like is the catalytic converter. One of them blew up and just shattered and it, it clogged up my exhaust system. And I took the Flowmaster off and it was spitting out the, hummy, the honeycomb stuff that was in the uh, catalytic converter. And uh, it was just like right when I took it, off, I didn't like the sound of the Mustang without the muffler on it. It sounded like shit. Um, V6s don't sound good without a uh, muffler on it unless it's like a 370Z or a Japanese car, basically. Um, the thing, uh, the catalytic converter. So I have one working catalytic converter, and the other one's just shit. It's trash. There's nothing in it. It's hollowed out. Um, I don't know what to do. I was gonna get long tube headers, but I didn't have the money for them. They're like $300 for too long, and then I gotta get a full exhaust system. So if I just got the headers, I'd be running open exhaust, which would be horrible because I read I run open a muffler delete, and it sounded so shitty. It was too loud. There was so much drone. Um, but I plan on getting <coughs> I plan on getting dual exhaust with open headers, uh, long tube headers, which. I hope to be getting soon uh, in the next five months or so. Um, yeah, but uh, right now I've been saving up money. I've been trying to buy mods for the car. I'm getting a GT500 or a spoiler, and then uh, I want to get the full exhaust system, which will be in time. Um, basically, on the car that I have right now, it has the Flowmaster um, stock exhaust, it has lowering springs, uh, new tires all around Toyo with uh, 17 inch Cobra rims, original Cobra rims from uh, 1998, which is, uh, I, it was so hard to find them. And then like really good condition. Um, I have a Canon air, cold air intake with some, I don't know what tunes on it, but uh, when I bought it, it had the paper, or it had a, it had a badge for, I think it was a, some tuner off of American Muscle. I don't know what tuner it was, but it's just tuned a regular 93 or uh, I think it's either 93 octane or 91, 
But, uh, I mean, I think I'm running about not too much horsepower, probably 240 or 250, um, which isn't too bad for a V6 Mustang that's uh, four liter and is uh, shamed upon for having really bad horsepower. Um, it comes stock from the factory 210 uh, horsepower and uh, two, I want to say 240 foot pounds of torque. Um, it's probably getting maybe 250 foot pounds of torque and 240 horsepower, which I like. It's it's a good power band. I like it. It right now. It the but the only thing that sucks is it doesn't. The horsepower doesn't hit till about 4,500 RPM, which the red line's only 6,500 RPM, which is stupid. I mean, but like I want to in in time in a couple of years when I get when I can have when I can afford it. I want to get a, I don't want a GT, I want a V6 Mustang, which sounds weird, but the new V6 Mustangs are great. They get 310 horsepower to crank, uh, not crank, or yeah, crank, and uh, about 290 uh, to the wheels, which is amazing for a V6 Mustang. That's revolutionary. For real. like the the 2005-2009 uh, Mustang GTs have 300 horsepower alone. So they're making more horsepower than the three valves, which people frown upon the three valves too because they don't make enough horsepower. They're just loud. Um, that's all people usually bought the G Team. They really, the engine that's really great right now is the Coyote engine uh, for the new GT's 5.0s, which my dad had one. Uh, he got rid of it. He had it for five months. I mean, it was a loud car. He had a uh, dual exhaust on it. But yeah, um, in time, uh, this V6 Mustang that I'm driving right now will be, I'll have a lot of mods on it. Uh, all right, guys. Just what is going on? Uh, you are watching another video. This is my third video. This is a review of my Mustang. Yeah, I revealed my car. I drive a Mustang. Um, but yeah, I feel like I hated more on the car in the video, which I love my car. I love my car so much. It is my favorite car. Um, I really want to do for my next video, since I didn't really talk about like what I love about my car that much in the video, I want to do 10 things I love about my car in my next video. But uh, if you think that's a good idea, if you like the idea of me doing that uh, and uh, vlogging in my car, which I like doing, just I need a tripod to use because I, I, it was so hard holding the phone in my hand while I was driving and talking at once, which is it's a lot to do when you're driving in a car. But uh, if you like the video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment below what you thought about it, and uh, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.